Hello Internet, I am Mihai, and it is the first episode of the Jenkins Pipeline tutorial. Before we start the tutorial, I want to tell you what you will learn, to show you the tutorial plan, and to tell about the minimum knowledge you need to have before you begin. After the tutorial series, you will know how to create a Node.js server, how to install an Ubuntu server, how to install Jenkins and other tools on Ubuntu server, how to create a systemd service, how to run a Jenkins pipeline from a Git repository, how to use Jenkins shared libraries, and you will also improve your Groovy skills. In the first part of this tutorial, we will create a simple Node.js web application. The scope is to deploy the application by Jenkins. The second part is to create a Linux server and install Jenkins on that server. The third part is the biggest one and it is the pipeline creation. We will create a Jenkins file, a shared library and configuration files. Once the pipeline is ready, we will deploy the Node.js web application. Before you start, please check if you meet the requirements. You have to be familiar with some Jenkins basics. You have to know what is a Jenkins job, how to install a plugin. If you don't know it, check the link in the description. It is a course from automation step by step. You have to know how to use Git. The pipeline development requires from you a lot of commits and pushes. We are going to create a Node.js application. It means you need to understand what is a method, how to declare a variable, how to install an NPM module. We will create configuration files in YAML format. It is good you understand it. Good to have some network basics. For example, what is an IP address or a port number. We will write a lot of Groovy. I assume you can understand Groovy code and you can debug errors. If you don't know Groovy, don't worry, Java will be enough. To a certain degree, Groovy is similar to Java. This similarity is good enough so that you can proceed with the course. You already know we will work on a Linux machine. You need to be able to write bash commands in the terminal. I will install Jenkins on a virtual machine in VirtualBox but you can use AWS EC2, Azure Virtual Machines, or any other virtual machine provider. It was all. Enjoy the tutorial.